go. I can see the Merlin. Okay. Welcome to Blueprinting. Today we're going to cover Module 1. You have already watched the ITL and should be familiar with the terms that we are going to talk about today. First off, what is a blueprint? What is your definition? Engineering drawing. An engineering drawing. That's a good example. What else? Okay, schematic. Good. Give me another example. All right. So, a blueprint is a line drawing that are used to design and construct or manufacture a product. Some of the types of blueprints that you may encounter, you will have blueprints for houses, blueprints for parts, blueprints for assembly. These are just kind of an overview. Our first term that you need to understand are blueprint lines. What does a blueprint line do? Quite simply, it defines the size and shape of an object. Without a line, you can't have a blueprint. Now, we have production drawings, which are the ones we will normally deal with in this course. What are the three types of production drawings? Very good. Detail, assembly, and installation. Now, detail drawings are your lowest level of drawing. Detail is how the part is actually made. Machinists will see many, many detail drawings. Matter of fact, that may be all you will ever see. An assembly drawing is exactly what it sounds like. It is used to assemble the part. You will take parts that were constructed with detail drawings and put them together. An installation drawing is where the part goes on a larger <coughs> structure, like on an aircraft. On an aircraft, you may see all three types of drawings. All right. The abbreviation, A-S-S-Y, is one of the few you actually need to know for this class. That stands for? Assembly. Assembly. Very good. All right. Another abbreviation you need to know for this class is ISO. International Standards Organization. They are responsible for setting standards that are used on certain types of drawings or installations is a standard organization. Now, all blueprints that you will see are drawn using ASME standard. That stands for American Society for Mechanical Engineers. Blueprints are drawn on ASME standards. All right. So, now that we have talked about the standards, the type of drawings, let's talk about some of the vocabulary that you will encounter in your blueprints. And in a later example, we'll actually get a blueprint out and cover all of these in detail. But for today, let's just worry about the vocabulary. Border. Border defines the boundaries of the blueprint. A title block is the most important piece of a blueprint. In the title block, you will have information such as drawing name, drawing number, company, title, sheet number, scale, size, signature block, tolerances, material, material information, all the information information you need for a blueprint is covered in the title block. And we'll cover those in a later, in a later lecture. All right. Let's talk about tolerances. Who can tell me what the purpose of the tolerance is? Tolerance. 
tax is the allowed deviation from the standard. So, in the aviation industry, often tolerances are listed like this. That tolerance is plus or minus two thousandths of an inch. The reason that we have tolerances are you cannot repeat a process to a certain level. If I told you to draw a square that is one inch by one inch by one inch and put a hole exactly in the middle of that square, how often do you think you could repeat that exactly right? Not very often, because we're all human. There's a variation. Can your eye even see two thousandths of an inch? It cannot. We have to have tolerances, because if we had to be exactly perfect every time, our level of scrap would be so high that we would be unable to manufacture any parts. So that's what tolerances are. Now, on your drawing, tolerances are often listed. I'll erase some of this. Tolerances are often listed like this. Tolerances. This is a one decimal place call out, a tenth call out. You can be plus or minus a tenth of an inch. We get to hundreds, you can be plus or minus three hundredths of an inch, and the thousands, five thousandths of an inch. Now, the important thing to notice about this is when you are reading a drawing, you must look for the call out. So if I told you that I wanted a hole that was 0.95, you would look at the hundredths place tolerance and you would say that it's plus or minus 0.3. So what would my top tolerance be? 98. What would my bottom tolerance be? So our total tolerance is the difference between 98 and 92, which would be 6 hundredths of an inch. So we can be anywhere between 0.92 and 0.98.